Classical element. Classical elements typically refer to the concepts in ancient Greece of earth, water, air, fire, and ether, which were proposed to explain the nature and complexity of all matter in terms of simpler substances. Ancient cultures in Babylonia, Japan, Tibet, and India had similar lists, sometimes referring in local language as air as wind and the fifth element as void. The Chinese Wusing system lists wood, mu, fire, huo, earth, tu, metal, jin, and water, shui, though these are described more as energies or transitions rather than as types of material. These different cultures and even individual philosophers had widely varying explanations concerning their attributes and how they related to observable phenomena as well as cosmology. Sometimes these theories overlapped with mythology and were personified in deities. Some of these interpretations included atomism, the idea of very small, indivisible portions of matter, but other interpretations considered the elements to be divisible into infinitely small pieces without changing their nature. While the classification of the material world in ancient Indian, Hellenistic Egypt, and ancient Greece into air, earth, fire and water was more philosophical, during the Islamic Golden Age medieval Middle Eastern scientists used practical, experimental observation to classify materials. In Europe, the ancient Greek system of Aristotle evolved slightly into the medieval system, which for the first time in Europe became subject to experimental verification in the 1600s, during the Scientific Revolution. Modern science does not support the classical elements as the material basis of the physical world. Atomic theory classifies atoms into more than a hundred chemical elements such as oxygen, iron, and mercury. These elements form chemical compounds and mixtures, and under different temperatures and pressures, these substances can adopt different states of matter. The most commonly observed states of solid, liquid, gas, and plasma share many attributes with the classical elements of earth, water, air, and fire, respectively, but these states are due to similar behavior of different types of atoms at similar energy levels, and not due to containing a certain type of atom or a certain type of substance. In classical thought, the four elements earth, water, air, and fire as proposed by Empedocles frequently occur, Aristotle added a fifth element, ether, it has been called akasha in India and quintessence in Europe. The concept of the five elements formed a basis of analysis in both Hinduism and Buddhism. In Hinduism, particularly in an esoteric context, the four states of matter describe matter, and a fifth element describes that which was beyond the material world. Similar lists existed in ancient China, Korea, and Japan. In Buddhism the four great elements, to which two others are sometimes added, are not viewed as substances, but as categories of sensory experience. In Babylonian mythology, the cosmogony called Enuma Elis, a text written between the 18th and 16th centuries BC, involves four gods that we might see as personified cosmic elements, sea, earth, sky, wind. In other Babylonian texts these phenomena are considered independent of their association with deities, though they are not treated as the component elements of the universe, as later in Empedocles. The system of five elements are found in Vedas, especially Ayurveda, the Panchamahabhuta, or five great elements, of Hinduism are Bhumi, earth, ap or jala, water, tehis or agni, fire, murut, vayu or pavan, air or wind, and vayam or shunya, space or zero, or akash, aether or void. They further suggest that all of creation, including the human body, is made up of these five essential elements and that upon death, the human body dissolves into these five elements of nature, thereby balancing the cycle of nature. The five elements are associated with the five senses, and act as the gross medium for the experience of sensations. The basest element, earth, created using all the other elements, can be perceived by all five senses, eye, hearing, two, touch, three, sight, four, taste, and, v, smell. The next higher element, water, has no odor but can be heard, felt, seen and tasted. Next comes fire, which can be heard felt and seen. Air can be heard and felt. Akasha, ether, is beyond the senses of smell, taste, sight, and touch, it being accessible to the sense of hearing alone. In the Pali literature, the Mahabhuta, great elements, or Katu. Datu, four elements, are earth, water, fire, and air. In early Buddhism, the four elements are a basis for understanding suffering and for liberating oneself from suffering. The earliest Buddhist texts explain that the four primary material elements are the sensory quality solidity, 
fluidity, temperature, and mobility, their characterization as earth, water, fire, and air, respectively, is declared an abstraction, instead of concentrating on the fact of material existence, one observes how a physical thing is sensed, felt, perceived. The Buddha's teaching regarding the four elements is to be understood as the base of all observation of real sensations rather than as a philosophy. The four properties are cohesion, water, solidity or inertia, earth, expansion or vibration, air, and heat or energy content, fire. He promulgated a categorization of mind and matter as composed of eight types of kalapas of which the four elements are primary and a secondary group of four are color, smell, taste, and nutriment which are derivative from the four primaries. Thanissaro Bhikkhu, 1997, renders an extract of Shakyamuni Buddhas from Pali into English thus Tibetan Buddhist medical literature speaks of the Panchmahabhuta, five elements. The Chinese had a somewhat different series of elements, namely fire, earth, metal, literally gold, water and wood, which were understood as different types of energy in a state of constant interaction and flux with one another, rather than the Western notion of different kinds of material. Although it is usually translated as element, the Chinese word sing literally means something like changing states of being, permutations or metamorphose of being. In fact sinologists cannot agree on any single translation. The Chinese elements were seen as ever-changing and moving when translation of Wu Sing is simply the five changes. The Wu Sing are chiefly an ancient mnemonic device for systems with five stages, hence the preferred translation of movements, phases or steps over elements. In the Bagua, Metal is associated with the divination figure Dui, the lake or marsh, Ze, and with Qian, the sky or heavens, Dian. Wood is associated with Shun, the wind, Feng, and with Shen, the arousing slash thunder, Lei. In view of the durability of meteoric iron, metal came to be associated with the ether, which is sometimes conflated with stoic pneuma, as both terms originally referred to air, the former being higher, brighter, more fiery or celestial, and the latter being merely warmer and thus vital or biogenetic. In Taoism, qi functions similarly to pneuma in a prime matter, a basic principle of energetic transformation, that accounts for both biological and inanimate phenomena. In Chinese philosophy the universe consists of heaven and earth. The five major planets are associated with and even named after the elements, Jupiter is wood, Mars is fire, Saturn is earth, Venus is metal, and Mercury is water. Also, the moon represents yin, and the sun represents yang, yin, yang, and the five elements are associated with themes in the I Ching, the oldest of Chinese classical texts which describes an ancient system of cosmology and philosophy. The five elements also play an important part in Chinese astrology in the Chinese form of geomancy known as Feng Shui. The doctrine of five phases describes two cycles of balance, a generating or creation, sheng, cycle and an overcoming or destruction, slash, k cycle of interactions between the phases generating overcoming there are also two cycles of imbalance an overacting cycle cheng and an insulting cycle wu the ancient greek belief in five basic elements these being earth gamma ge water delta omega rho hutter air rho air fire pi rho pure and ether alpha theta rho ether dates from pre-Socratic times and persisted throughout the Middle Ages and into the Renaissance, deeply influencing European thought and culture. These five elements are sometimes associated with the five platonic solids. Sicilian philosopher Empedocles, ca. 450 BC, proved, at least to his satisfaction, that air was a separate substance by observing that a bucket inverted in water did not become filled with water, a pocket of air remaining trapped inside. Prior to Empedocles, Greek philosophers had debated which substance was the primordial element from which everything else was made, Heraclitus championed fire, Thales supported water, and Anaximenes plumped for air. Anaximander argued that the primordial substance was not any of the known substances, but could be transformed into them, and they into each other. Empedocles was the first to propose four elements, fire, earth, air, and water. He called them the four roots, iota zeta mu alpha tau alpha, rhizomata. Plato seems to have been the first to use the term element, sigma tau omicron iota chi epsilon omicron nu, stoichan, in reference to air, fire, earth, and water. The ancient Greek word for element, stoichan, from stoichio, to line up, meant smallest division, of a sundial, a syllable, 
as the composing unit of an alphabet it could denote a letter in the smallest unit from which a word is formed. A similar alphabetic metaphor may be the origin of the equivalent Latin word elementum, from which the English word comes, possibly based on the names of the letters L, M, and N, though the validity of this idea is debated. In his On Generation and Corruption, Aristotle related each of the four elements to two of the four sensible qualities. A classic diagram has one square inscribed in the other, with the corners of one being the classical elements, and the corners of the other being the properties. The opposite corner is the opposite of these properties, hot, cold and dry, wet. Aristotle added a fifth element, ether, as the quintessence, reasoning that whereas fire, earth, air, and water were earthly and corruptible, since no changes had been perceived in the heavenly regions, the stars cannot be made out of any of the four elements but must be made of a different, unchangeable, heavenly substance. A text written in Egypt in Hellenistic or Roman times called the Cor Cosmo, Virgin of the World, ascribed to Hermes Trismegistus, associated with the Egyptian god Thoth, names the four elements fire, water, air, and earth. As described in this book. And Isis answer made of living things, my son, some are made friends with fire, and some with water, some with air, and some with earth, and some with two or three of these, and some with all. And, on the contrary, again some are made enemies of fire, and some of water, some of earth, and some of air, and some of two of them, and some of three, and some of all. For instance, sun, the locust and all flies flee fire, the eagle and the hawk and all high-flying birds flee water, fish, air and earth the snake avoids the open air. Whereas snakes and all creeping things love earth, all swimming things love water, winged things, air, of which they are the citizens, while those that fly still higher love the fire and have the habitat near it. Not that some of the animals as well do not love fire, for instance salamanders, for they even have their homes in it. It is because one or another of the elements doth form their body's outer envelope. Each soul, accordingly, while it is in its body is weighted and constricted by these four. According to Galen, these elements were used by Hippocrates in describing the human body with an association with the four humors, yellow bile, fire, black bile, earth, blood, air, and phlegm, water. Medical care was primarily about helping the patient stay in or return to his slash your own personal natural balance said state. The Neoplatonic philosopher Proclus rejected Aristotle's theory relating the elements to the sensible qualities hot, cold, wet and dry. He maintained that each of the elements has three properties. Fire is sharp, subtle, and mobile while its opposite, earth, is blunt, dense, and immobile. They are joined by the intermediate elements, air and water, in the following fashion. In Banner ancient Tibetan philosophy, the five elemental processes of earth, water, fire, air and space are the essential materials of all existent phenomena or aggregates. The elemental processes form the basis of the calendar, astrology, medicine, psychology and are the foundation of the spiritual traditions of shamanism, tantra and Dzogchen. Tenzin Wang Yal Rinpoche states that the names of the elements are analogous to categorized experiential sensations of the natural world. The names are symbolic and key to their inherent qualities and slash or modes of action by analogy. In Bon the elemental processes are fundamental metaphors for working with external, internal and secret energetic forces. All five elemental processes and their essential purity are inherent in the mind stream and link the trikaya and are aspects of primordial energy. As Herbert V. Gunter states in the above block quote the trikaya is encoded as Dharmakaya God, Sampagakaya Temple and Nirmanakaya House. The elemental system used in medieval alchemy was developed primarily by the Arab alchemist Jabir ibn Hayyan, Gaber. His system consisted of the four classical elements of air, earth, fire, and water, in addition to two philosophical elements, sulfur, characterizing the principle of combustibility, the stone which burns, and mercury, characterizing the principle of metallic properties. They were seen by early alchemists as idealized expressions of irreducible components of the universe and are of larger consideration within philosophical alchemy. The three metallic principles, sulfur to flammability or combustion, mercury to volatility and stability, and salt to solidity, became the tria prima of the Swiss alchemist Paracelsus. He reasoned that Aristotle's four-element theory appeared in bodies as three principles. Paracelsus saw these principles as fundamental and justified them by recourse to the description of how wood burns in fire. Mercury included the cohesive principle, so that when it left in smoke the wood fell apart. 
Smoke described the volatility, the mercurial principle, the heat-giving flames described flammability, sulfur, and the remnant ash described solidity, salt. The Islamic philosophers Al-Kindi, Avicenna and Fakhr al-Din al-Razi connected the four elements with the four natures heat and cold, the active force, and dryness and moisture, the recipient. Japanese traditions use a set of elements called the, godai, literally five great. These five are earth, water, fire, wind slash air, and void. These came from Indian Vastu Shastra philosophy and Buddhist beliefs. In addition, the classical Chinese elements, Wu Sing, are also prominent in Japanese culture, especially to the influential Neo-Confucianists during the medieval Edo period. Western astrology uses the four classical elements in connection with astrological charts and horoscopes. The twelve signs of the zodiac are divided into the four elements, fire signs are Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, earth signs are Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, air signs are Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, and water signs are Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. The Aristotelian tradition and medieval alchemy eventually gave rise to modern scientific theories and new taxonomies. By the time of Antoine Lavoisier, for example, a list of elements would no longer refer to classical elements. Some modern scientists see a parallel between the classical elements and the four states of matter solid, liquid, gas, and weakly ionized plasma. Modern science recognizes classes of elementary particles which have no substructure, or rather, particles that are not made of other particles, and composite particles having substructure, particles made of other particles. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.